I said, you know what, mm-hmm. Aisha, you're chasing something that you have. You don't need mm-hmm. to be on TV. You you have this brain power. You have this expertise. And so I typed in the computer, um, beauty, because um, I was always interested in the beauty industry, um, sales and engineering. Mm. And um, well, anyway, so so I started working in the industry, selling chemicals for the beauty industry. But me, where I was working my own brand, it was called Culture Shock Cosmetics. Mm. My very first company. No one even knows about this brand. It was like a makeup yeah. line that was dedicated to my culture and all the experiences and everything that you know that I learned. And so I'm at home and I'm grinding. I'm like I'm in the lab. So I'm, I, I, if, you're, if you're into music and I see your guitar, like I was in the lab. I was grinding oh. day and night. I'm working. I pulled out money that I had saved from real estate and my my jobs and my investing. And I'm never scared to take a risk. And I was like, I'm gonna show Richard Branson. I'm gonna show them who they should have picked. So anyway, I get a call from the producers and they invite us back. They wanted everyone to come back. Richard Branson's amazing. He said, everyone eliminated comes back for the final episodes. He flies us to Necker Island. Like, oh, Richard, wow. like this is like Bill Gates. That's pretty stuff. cool. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Seriously, you know? yeah. And I, um, and I said, yeah. bucket list, yeah. It's bucket list. Like, I've done bucket <laughs> yeah. list crap, man. It's crazy. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I couldn't say no. And I was mad. And I said, I'm going to show Richard Branson who this girl is. So they mm-hmm. fly us to Necker Island and um, to film the last week, which was like the finale, the episode to see who won. Um, Sean Nelson of Love Sack, you know, Love Sack mm-hmm. Furniture. Sure. Yeah, yeah. He won. Yeah, yeah. He won. Um, yeah. I, think he was, I think he was always predetermined to win, but he won. <laughs> Sarah Blakely came in second, which is hilarious. And then right. there was a slew of other entrepreneurs I'm still friends with to this day. And we, we spent 10 days with the brilliant Richard Branson and mm-hmm. watching him and bonding with him and, and just seeing who he was. And he didn't do this show for the fame. This is when mm-hmm. Richard, Richard was launching, um, he was launching his airlines. <laughs> mm-hmm. Think about it. And he's working on mm-hmm. Galactica. So he needed the US exposure. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, he's just brilliant. He's amazing. And I yeah. spent 10 days and I mean, he, I, I, he said, so Aisha, what have you been doing since you've been home? I said, I was throwing darts at your picture. <laughs> 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 so anyway, well, fast forward, we filmed the episode, it's done. And that's when the magic started. I came home and it was so inspirational to see him. And I believed I belonged. That was the first time in my life mm-hmm. where I felt like, you know, I was in this predominantly white institution. And, and the comments that were made about me as a, a woman of color, like in this industry, there's so many stereotypical things as a Latina woman, I hung with another black girl, like things that were said about her. Um, they talked about certain things that that should not be talked about. Like they're stereotypes. And I, I use that as my motivation. I came home and that was it. I quit my job. I had a six-figure job. I quit it. My parents thought I was absolutely nuts. They were so mad at me. And that's when I started culture shock. I started grinding. I started working. I started, I, I took a job at Nordstrom's working in the beauty counter so mm-hmm. I can learn every brand, every business. I did it for six months. I got pregnant with my second child. And um, and then I was working selling chemicals. I'm calling on Unilever. I'm calling on Luster Products. I'm calling on all these companies. I'm like the brains behind the brand. I'm teaching them how to make the products. I'm telling them the claims. I'm doing the things. I did this for five years. And at that point, I was like, oh man, I am going to come out with this blockbuster brand that is going to change the industry. And Mm -hmm. so I went to work for a contract filler for five years. I learned everything about manufacturing, development, product. Meanwhile, I had another baby. So this time I'm done. I'm 30. I have these babies. I'm raising them. I'm learning everything about the business. You know, I'm, I'm doing product copy. I'm working with all these brands, knowing always that I wanted to have my own, but the fear of taking that risk. And in 2015, I, I, I said, I'm tired. I'm done. I'm ready. I have done my homework. I've paid my dues. I'm not rich. My husband had a job. I had a job. And in 20, I pulled out my entire 401k, everything, every dollar, mm-hmm. every dime, my savings. And as my parents would say, Isha's crazy because she quit her high paying job. I was a <laughs> VP. I was making about $160,000 a year. And I mm-hmm. left everything and I went back mm-hmm. to the lab. And that's when I honey baby naturally.